Taiwan's ruling party looks set to hold onto the presidency as counting is underway for the state's general election. It's believed to be a blow for China, which claims Taiwan as its own and despises the island's current leadership. Live now to Stash Butler, who's in Taipei for us. Stash, what are the latest results? Well, the sound you can hear behind me, we're just outside the ruling party's headquarters in Taipei. The sound and the flags waving you can hear gets across the mood here outside the HQ, which is overwhelmingly positive. That's because the results coming in right now look very good for the ruling party candidate, the DPP, Lai Ching, though. We can show you those results now. So with more than half votes counted, Lai is leading the race with about 40 percent. Behind him, the opposition candidate of the Guomindang, or KMT, former police chief Hoi Yoi on about 33 percent. He represents a turn towards closer ties with China. Behind him, a wildcard candidate, the third party candidate in this race, Ke Wenzhe, a former mayor of Taipei, on about 27 percent. Now those numbers are preliminary, they're still coming in, but Lai has a lead of about 600,000 votes over his next rival, so looking very good for him in this race and looking very bad for the opposition. This is really their worst nightmare come true. You've got to remember that Taiwan's presidential election is decided on a simple majority. You don't have to break 50%. You just have to be top of the pile. And they dreaded splitting the opposition vote. And this is exactly what they've done with about 40%, like I said, about 30% each there. So really a disastrous night for the opposition who seem to have, in their failed coalition talks, shot themselves in the foot. Now, Stash, moving forward, what does this all mean for Taiwan-China ties? Well, Xi Jinping and the Chinese leadership in Beijing have made no secret of the fact that they detest the ruling Democratic Progressive Party. They view them as Taiwanese separatists. They claim Taiwan as their own and have not ruled out the use of force to take the island. So this is really a setback for all of the, the news lines that have been coming out of the various organs of the Chinese government warning the Taiwanese people against voting for the DPP. So a real setback for them. Are we going to see any kind of military action? That's the question on everyone's lips. China has been flying warplanes near Taiwan's airspace continually, almost on a daily basis, for months, if not years. Are we going to see an increase that in the coming weeks? The experts I've spoken to don't expect to see anything particularly drastic in the next few days, but it seems likely with the continuation of the leadership here, you'll see some kind of continuation of the tensions that have played the Taiwan Strait the last eight years. Stash Butler, thank you for the update.